Hello and welcome to the School of Breath, where we relearn the simple act of breathing. If you're new to this channel, my name is Abhi Dugal and I help you create the life by design. In this video, we'll talk about a very specific, miraculous pranayama or a breathing technique to boost the levels of nitric oxide in your blood by 15 times. So you might be wondering, what are the benefits of nitric oxide? Well, it's a healing molecule and this was discovered, the effects of nitric oxide on your blood vessels were discovered in 1998 and it was worth a Nobel Prize. So it's a beautiful discovery which makes us re-question the whole respiratory process. So as we breathe nitric oxide into our blood, it dilates the blood vessels and improves the blood circulation. And here's the important part, that you can only produce nitric oxide organically without eating uh, th from the external sources through your nostrils. So as you breathe in through your nose, there's cavities here, sinus cavities here and on top of the nose, which creates nitric oxide. And the only way to take this in into your bloodstream is by breathing through your nose and obviously these benefits are not there if you're breathing from your mouth so when you're sleeping it's very important for the blood to have nitric oxide so it can do the healing it can do the cleansing of the blood vessels and if you want to check out the details on nitric oxide i've done a video which is nose versus mouth breathing and i go in details on how it affects your body but for now let's just go on to the Brahmri Pranayama, which is a yoga technique which can take the nitric oxide levels up to 15 times in your body. And I'll tell you this, as we age after the age of 30, the nitric oxide starts going down in the body. So it's a very organic way to boost the nitric oxide levels in your body. And the Pranayama or a breathing technique name is Brahmri pranayama and brahmari in india is called a black bee so this is how we're going to do this we're going to bring our thumbs and plug our ears so as you plug the ears you push this protruding part inside gently you don't have to be uh, forceful with yourself and then you bring your two fingers the index and the ring finger and gently again press your eyelids and take a long breath in Exhale with a humming sound. Make sure your exhales are longer than inhales. And as you inhale, for the best benefits, you want to do ujjayi breathing, which means you want to constrict the throat just a little bit. Imagine you're breathing with a straw in your neck. So as you breathe in, you're creating a little sound, ocean-like sound in your throat. So what yoga postures do for your body, this Brahmri Pranayama does for your brain. As you plug this ears and close your eyes, you can feel the resonance it creates, the humming sound creates. So you might wonder, can you do this Pranayama without plugging your ears or without closing your eyes? Yes, you can and you will get some benefits. But to amplify these benefits, you have to make sure there is no external sound coming from outside so you can create this perfect resonance between your head and your heart so they can communicate. And this pranayama has a lot of benefits, especially for the brain. Anything which is related to brain, whether it's depression, sometimes insomnia, too many thoughts before you want to go to sleep. It also increases the gamma waves production in your brain to improve the cognitive function of your brain and it heightens the sense of awareness. So these gamma waves are high frequency waves and when you go in deep meditation, you can experience this heightened self-awareness where you're able to feel your emotions before you react to them. That's the heightened sense of awareness. 
So please try this pranayama breathing technique for seven days and I would love to know your feedback in the comments below. Until next time, my name is Abhi Dugal and I help you create life by design. Signing off.